Hello there, this video is to help people that have got a box standard basic uh, VPS setup and they want to run C Algo or C Traders algorithmic trading platform on it for trading robots. So in this scenario, um, this is the lowest, the low end um, cost VPS setup. It's just got two gigs of RAM and a two point something uh, gigahertz processor. So it's about as low as you'll probably get on a VPS server. And you're probably wondering, um, will you be able to run your algorithms, especially the ones you purchase from us, on this type of setup? Okay, and I'm going to show you how to keep your memory or your RAM down, so you don't use up too much RAM. What RAM is? It's read access memory. It's memory that's used when you run an application, uh, and when that memory gets, if I show you up here, when it gets to 100%, your whole server will run very, very slowly, and it could affect the performance of your trade. So we don't want that. So what we've got. I've got two instances of Cialgo running, so two platforms running. One is for the switchback ro robot, and the other is for the indices robot. Okay, each one has got about six um, sub instances, so they've, each one have got, has got actually six independent robots running for different currency symbols or indices. Okay, so we can actually see if we go back to the main page that the actual memory at this moment in time that's actually running on it is 222 megabytes for one, 232 for another. So it's quite low, and they're running. So, you know, they don't use a lot of memory, Siago. It can do if you, I mean, the other videos I've explained, if you actually run back tests um, and you don't clear the memory down, then it will consume huge amounts of memory. So if you ever run back tests on your VPS, you're pretty, pretty much better off closing your VPS down and rebooting it, or just going into Task Manager and deleting the, the any instances of Cialgo that are running to clear that memory down. So it's not advisable that you run back tests, especially optimization on a VPS. Just open it up, start it as clean, look at the memory, make sure it's only consuming about this amount of memory, and let it run. Okay, if for any reason um, this memory does slowly creep up and it starts using more and more memory, if you don't have uh, a tool that we sell called the C Trader. Uh, memory manager or CBOT memory manager, it could uh, hit 100% and it could slow your server down. So what we've done, we've put two of these running. One is for each uh, for each instance of Cialgo. You can see it up here. One's for this one, and we've got another one for the other one. They both run, and I've set the auto boost at 600, which is uh, 1.2 gigs, mostly because the free memory we've got is we're using 1.2. We've got 800 megs back, uh, sorry, remaining. We're using 500 megs currently, so 600 on each uh, platform that's running is more than enough to keep the uh, memory below the 2 gig threshold that you've got available. So if for any reason that your memory did go too high, rather than it hitting 100% and affecting your performance, these little tools, which are really good, will actually just kick that memory that's not required out and then it will just start accumulating new memory again. It doesn't affect the performance of your platform by flushing it out. And if you had to pick the best of two evils, you're probably better off flushing the memory down and letting the platform regather the data and continue trading than the whole platform freezing or running super slow. Okay, so this is how you should use these two. I just want to quickly show you also uh, what you should do with your platform setup. When you run your platform, do not leave them open like this because this will also use memory for actually rendering uh, the, the screen to the, to the chart. So the actual, the actual graphical work that's going on now will actually consume more memory. So if you're going to leave it, because it's a VPS, you're, you're going to switch it off and you're going to walk away. You don't need it for charting. You might use it just for checking if you log in. Simply click on there so you either see your source code or you don't. So that's all you'll see on the screen. There's no uh, graphs or anything like that running. And make sure you minimize it as well. So when you minimize it down, you can see your CPU has gone down Then I'm just going to do a quick example and show you, actually. So if I click on there, and there's no trades running at the moment, so if there was trades, it would actually consume a bit more. And if I go and look at the mem up here, you can see the memory will increase, but the CPU will increase as well. So it'll actually use up more CPU. And as the graph actually ticks, it's not actually moving at the moment. That's because it's closed. So if I clicked one that was open, I think you get my drift. If you had one that was trading and the data was coming in and you looked at your task manager, it will start creeping up. Yeah, it's gone to 317 and your CPU goes up as well. So if you want to consume less memory and then have it as, as efficient as possible for trading, um, don't have the charts shown on the screen. Just minimize it. Minimize each one. Use the memory manager if you're worried and you don't have a lot of memory and you want to flush it down. And also, if you do look at the 
VPS server at some point and you see it's uh, peaking and you want to just clear it down, you can just clear it down by just clicking boost memory. And you can see that one's boosted it down there, okay? So that is the setup you want to use for your VPS. If you're using Cialgo, you don't have to use the memory manager, uh, especially if you've purchased more RAM. But if you only have, for example, two gigs of RAM, especially one gig of RAM, you've got to be very careful that your memory doesn't peak 100%, okay? And these are a few tips to help you out.